Hey, this is Corey from Wolfpack Woodcraft, and winter is coming, and I know a lot of people are worried about staying warm this winter season, and living in Minnesota, I know that the temperature is going to drop down to the negative 40s, negative 50s, uh, it's always really cold here in Minnesota, and so I want to talk about some tips and tricks I've learned over the years, and hopefully one of these six things can help you stay warm inside of your own home, and let's start with number one. All right, so number one is a good pair of slippers. So heat rises and cold air settles. And when the cold air settles, the floors get very cold. And when the floors are cold, your feet are cold. And when your feet are cold, you are cold. And so having a good pair of slippers is really handy. It doesn't matter if it's the old grandpa slippers or little kid slippers like Caroline's or even just uh, slipper socks that you can put on and stay warm because when you keep your feet warm the rest of you tends to be warm as well and I like the indoor outdoor slippers I never wear these outdoors ever I see so many people do it they wear them outside and then they get full of snow and they're soaking wet uh, they step in mud they get them all nasty dirty they don't want to track it around the house and so their slippers just sit by the door and they never get used to keep their feet warm inside and so if you're going to get slippers for indoors, keep them indoors. Uh, the reason I get the indoor outdoor ones is for the traction. Uh, the slipper ones can get really slippery on hardwood floors or vinyl or linoleum. And so I don't like slipping and sliding around, so I like the traction of the indoor outdoor. And so a good pair of slippers can really help keep you warm because again, if your feet are warm, you'll be warm. Put these on, my feet are already cold. All right, so the second thing that you're going to need is heaters. Now, my big heaters are in the garage, but having electric heaters, a lot of people they like to have propane heaters, and so this will hook up to a fuel canister, and then you can use those big one pound propane, and those work really well if the power goes out. But if you still have power and your furnace goes out, these electric ones work really well at heating up little areas and you can put them in different rooms of the house. So you can put one in the bathroom, you can put one in the kitchen, you can put one in the living room, you can put one in the bedroom. Um, they come in different sizes, they heat different size rooms. And if your furnace goes out, having a bunch of these lying around, uh, they're typically a lot safer than the propane options. You don't have to worry about carbon monoxide. You don't have to worry about anything burning or melting. Uh, they're typically much safer, but if the power goes out, you do need that fuel alternative. You do need the one pound green propane uh, canisters. You do need the heaters. I have a Mr. Buddy heater that I like better than this one. The Mr. Buddy heater is uh, it has more safety features. This doesn't have any safety features. And so if it falls over, it can cause a mess. It can start a fire. This one's pretty dangerous. So you got to use them very carefully. You have to make sure that you're using outlets that can handle the wattage of these units. Uh, there's a lot to be considered. But again, if your furnace goes out and you have electricity, these little things aren't that expensive and you can put them all over the place. If the power does go out and you don't have electricity, you're going to need heaters for that as well. So just having an assortment of different heaters that run on different things can really go a long way. Alright, so the next thing is blankets. Now these are wool blankets. I like wool blankets. It can be fleece blankets. It can be blankets if you have a spare bedroom. Taking the blankets off that spare bed. Uh, if you have kids. Uh, sometimes taking the blankets off the kids beds and putting them all on one bed and then sleeping together can really help because then you're sharing body heat and the blankets are going to help insulate keep your body heat towards you and if you don't have extra blankets a lot of people live in an apartment by themselves they don't have extra blankets uh, towels uh, shower towels beach towels whatever kind of towels can be used as well and towels not only can be used to add layers to preserve your body heat. What you want to do is you want to trap your body heat close to you and you want to make sure that the cold air doesn't seep through the layers to you and you don't want your body heat seeping through the layers and escaping. Okay, so the more layers you can have, whether it's blankets or, or towels or blankets, uh, having extra layers and making it harder for that heat to escape and making it harder for that cold to penetrate is really going to help keep you warm. Uh, another trick is if you, not this towel, but if you have like hand towels or rags, 
You can put the hand towels or the rags on pipes and then pour boiling water on the rags and the rags will hold that water in place and prevent your pipes from freezing. And so consider that as well. You can use your towels for a lot of different things. It's a th something that a lot of people neglect. They don't think about using them as blankets or keeping their pipes from freezing or using them as insulation, but they really are a really good option. So towels can save you. Extra blankets are a good option. Just having stuff lying around that you can use to insulate yourself and keep the cold on one side and the body heat on the other side is really gonna help a lot. All right, so a big concern when it comes to winter preparedness or winter scenarios, people will think of blackouts. Uh, the snow load can take out power lines. The freezing rain can be heavy on power lines as well. And so a lot of people stock up on lanterns and headlamps and flashlights. But what I would recommend is instead uh, stockpile up candles. So candle lanterns, candles, there's candles that come in all different shapes and sizes, usually during the holidays, after the holiday ends. And so right now it's the holiday season after it's over, so in January, February, all of these holiday candles usually go on sale. They're like deep discounted. And so pick up a bunch of these just to have around for next winter. They smell good. And they not only produce light, like you would with a flashlight or a lantern, but they also produce heat. And so having something that can heat up a small area, having something that is dual purpose in heating and lighting can really help just make things a lot more comfortable. Uh, reading by candlelight, playing games by candlelight, anything to make yourself as comfortable as possible, add heat and light is a really good way of uh, making sure that the situation you're in isn't as bad as it should be. It's nice being able to uh, have that light, play some games, play some cards, do some things to get your mind off of the cold. All right, so when it comes to using candles and little heaters, they're not going to heat up an entire house, right? Uh, lead, uh, heating up a large area is very difficult. And so if you can make your footprint smaller, if you can pick like one room in your house and just make that your heat room where everybody's gonna sleep, everybody's gonna stay, all your blankets are gonna be piled up in that one room and just heating one room is way more efficient than trying to heat up a whole house. And so if your furnace breaks down, having a dedicated room, even if it's just your living room, you, uh, just having everybody inside that room. We all have holiday seasons where the whole family gets together and the house is always so hot because of all the body heat. Uh, just having that body heat, having the blankets, having the candles, all everybody's candles burning in one room is really going to make you a lot warmer than trying to spread out and have the kids in their rooms and us in, in the living room and who else over there and who else over there. If we can all come together and play a board game together, uh, watch a movie together if the furnace is out and we still have power. Uh, if we can all come together in one room, it's going to be a lot easier keeping each other warm than it is if we were spread out. All right, so my sixth and final tip is to think outside the box. There's a lot of things that you have available to you that you can use to heat up a small space. Uh, for me, I have a lot of outdoor gear. So alcohol stoves, canister stoves, Coleman stoves, a grill. If you have a little portable grill, you can hook that up, heat up a small space. Uh, these uh, hot, hot pads that you put water in. I can use my canister stoves, I can use the oven, I can use the stove to boil some water, put it in here, put this underneath my blankets for warmth. Uh, if you have uh, hot pads for like your sore muscles and stuff, heat them up, use those, uh, use the oven itself, open the door of the oven, crank it on high, and just have the oven heat up a space. Now it's not gonna be cost efficient, it's gonna, your utility bill is gonna go way up for doing that, but it's better than freezing. It's better than being miserable. Uh, going in using your vehicle, going out to your vehicle, just sitting in your vehicle with the heat blasted on is going to make you a lot more comfortable than just sitting in the cold and thinking about how cold and miserable you are. Any escape you can find, think outside the box and plan for it right now. Uh, once this video ends, go and look at things around your home 
even if it's just uh, heating stuff up in the microwave, right? There's a lot of things you have ac accessible to you right now that you can use and making that plan right now, making a little mental note of all those things right now will really help you when the time comes when, when you actually need it. You'll have a list of, oh, I can use the oven, I can use the microwave, I can go out to my vehicle. There, I have options, right? You're not trying to come up with this stuff when you're cold, when you're miserable, when you don't feel like doing anything because you're just shivering. That's not the time to try to think of these things. Think of them right now while you're in a heated house that is comfortable, that is warm, that is toasty. And so go out there. Figure those things out and then come back next week because I got another video talking about how to keep your house itself warm.